when you help somebody that truly needs assistance, you made somebody's day just that much better. Just like being able to uh, leave people with the feeling that, you know, the police are good folks, you know, everyday people just like, just like they are, and that, you know, I'm just out here trying to perform a job, a task. <laughs> Trying to catch up to uh, this white Dodge Durango that was out here in uh, Griffin North, talking to my local uh, dope perpetrators out here. I'm gonna see if we can stop it. There we go. Five o'clock, 11:20 radio. Got one refusing to stop. Gonna be uh, eastbound on Proctor, headed towards James P. Browley, a white. Durango 21 X ray Frank William. Got it over in the bluff by uh, 755. Get units to head to 755. He's going back over here to 755. Traffic violations, just traffic violations. Get some units to sit up over at uh, just before Stafford Street on ML King. He's still gonna be over here in the area. I hear him in the wood line. We got, we got one of the, the other units over here on North Avenue. I think they just picked him up for me. So we'll get back around here and see if we can meet him, get all the paperwork done and get everything squared away with the owner of the truck that he hit. Yeah, no, 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 Go ahead and go far, far away, sir. Go ahead. Okay, well, we'll Catch you 26 on that 29 on Fox. Make sure you got no weapons on you, that's all. I'm very sure that, sir. Well, I'm not saying, sir, I don't know if you're saying or not. I'm not really. I haven't been in the UNJS Act in about two years, you know what I'm saying, fully. Never had any felony, any violent charge. It was just one little night. Get your way back home. I was, I was. So the owner of the vehicle is still around here, you think? Right. So he's right there on pain. Right. Right. Sorry about your vehicle, sir. Hmm. Had a guy. His vehicle's probably gonna come back stolen. But uh you got your keys for your truck? I want to see if you can uh, start it, maybe pull it up a little bit. What we got here is trying to stop a guy, a regular traffic stop. He decided he didn't want to stop. Gave us a little chase. We caught him down here in a regular little dope hole where I first saw the vehicle that he tried to loop back around. 
I asked him. I asked him to put it up, see if we can get it out the way. He ran into the rear of. <laughs> Looks like the driver just ain't gonna have no driver's license. Probably this vehicle is probably gonna be traded for drugs. I'm sure. What what usually happens is the owner will probably try to call his vehicle in stolen a little later, but he he's not gonna be able to do so. Because once we impound it, they have to cross-reference cross it with the time. Just unfortunate that he wrecked into this gentleman's vehicle. Did a little damage to it. But, but on the up and up, sir? Well, hold on. Yeah, me, let me advise, hold on. Let me advise you of your rights first. Uh, you didn't see nothing else. Right. Okay, okay. Is this your vehicle? Mine's well, before I say that, please, okay. sir. I haven't been in any... I'm putting this vehicle right here. Sir. Well, you don't need to say nothing else right now, man. No, sir, but this is just so for me to you. This is... Okay. Saying, off the record, as y'all say. Well, nothing uh, is really off the record. Yes, That's sir. why I said you don't yes, have sir. to say nothing right now. I'll talk I to you in a little bit. Okay, I haven't been in any. Um, yes. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law.